welcome to everyone uh, now we move on to the next reaction of the idiot chapter aldol condensation dear friends after kenizer's reaction we discuss this aldol condensation in last video we know kenizer's reaction kenizer's reaction happens only in absence of alpha hydrogenated aldehydes for like example formaldehyde and benzaldehyde now we have the next target is aldol condensation it happens only present presence of alpha hydrogenated either aldehyde or either ketone it means aldol condensation happens only in presence of alpha hydrogenated compounds so in this case friends we have a very important j question and neat question and also our ncert theory question so let us begin with an example of our syllabus is your acetaldehyde yes acetaldehyde in ip system we call is an ethanol and same it undergoes react with one sagi your compound is acetaldehyde why sir because the functional group is attached the carbon is alpha the containing hydrogen is called alpha hydrogenated carbon the containing alpha hydrogen also so they combine with the same aldehyde so here also we call it is an ethanol and this reaction happens in presence of dilute alkali means in a oh as our convenience the condensation will take place this is ch3 means methyl group is written like this h ch it means ch3 also so what happens this cleavage of pi bond h attacking now the condensation will starts ch3 this is a c oh and h will have written here and what it remains so this is ch2 it remains the condensation ch2 and this is your ch yes what about the name of this compound the functional group attached carbon is alpha here it is a beta what is the name of this compound beta hydroxy friends because it is a weight attached beta hydroxy 1 2 3 4 carbon yes name of this compound beta hydroxy butane null or butyl aldehyde can use yes after this after this it undergoes igniting yes as our chemists have written this ch2 like this ch2 like this h and here it is h here it is alpha yes after heating in the loss of water this is your loss of water to loss of water the final product will be formed this is the final product friends ch3 and this is only ch and this is only ch and this ch2 as valency have to put it a double bond here this is number 1 2 3 4 the second position is we have an e means a double bond name of this compound total carbons are for but 2e in the first position this is a 1 in l this is your compound common name call is a protonadi yes common name we call the name is a protonadi here or either but to in one in this is very important condensation reaction of aldehyde to the aldehyde we call is a simple aldol or aldol condensation i repeat friends once again to consider an ethanol ethanol is nothing but acetaldehyde combine with acetaldehyde in presence of a dilute alkali means any which are either koh to form this is a very important our target is beta hydroxy aldehyde or beta hydroxy butanol and after removing of this water yes to get the component is but to yield one year this is your ncert question you have to practice but what about the j questions very interesting friends they ask when ethanol ethanol when ethanol ethanol undergoes condensation in presence of alkali to form an beta hydroxy aldehyde and after removing water to form an a product to form an a product this is your product protonaldehyde it shows which isomer idu yav isomer torustade ant question kelthane makale we have very important 
in UC first year level is geometrical isomer because the geometrical isomer is which having carbon carbon double bond you can mention like this this is your H and H this is your CHO and this is your CH it shows geometrical isomerism in option they provided optical isomerism and geometrical isomerism chain isomerism position isomerism but the exact answer is your geometrical isomerism I repeat once again the final product is protonaldehyde shows geometrical isomerism by using ethanol and ethanol in aldol condensation as mentioned in our syllabus keep in your mind friends in aldol simple aldol we can use both similar aldehydes if you use you can extend this part into the cross aldol condensation you can use an one aldehyde one keto or either you consider an one alpha hydrogenated compound and another one is a non alpha hydrogenated compounds so that also called it is an cross aldol you can keep practicing aldol condensation keep in your mind which happens only in the presence of alpha hydrogenated aldehydes or either a ketone this reaction is happens yes this is aldol condensation after this aldol condensation if you want to know yes cross aldol condensation of the compound so what is the meaning of cross aldol or mixed aldol friends in this part we have one alpha hydrogenated compound and another one is a non alpha hydrogenated compound yes we have very interesting reaction is a cross aldol condensation yes let us begin there is a cross aldol condensation the key in your mind is very important this reaction happens only and a one alpha hydrogenated and non this yes, i have considered this is let us see it as a chemical is a methanol means ethanol does not bring alpha hydrogen when it react to it is a ch3 c double bond oh is a ethanol which containing alpha hydrogen so we know already as our convenience this is in presence of dilute nuh as our convenience we make it this component is ch2 this is our h the cleavage of this pi bond h comes to here yes the ch2 is so not the product h so c this is a oh and h this becomes to ch2 and this is your ch2 now the answer is same alpha and beta we call is a beta hydroxy 1 2 3 carbon is propanal okay if you want to remove the water Yes, you have to remove the water. This OH and one H. Yes, what it remains? This is CH two. Direct analog. This is CH two, and this is a double bond CH, and this is your CH. Yes, one, two, three. Three carbon. Pro the two E one. This is your cross aldol condensation. I repeat, friends. Cross aldol can be happens. Alpha hydrogenated and non-alpha hydrogenated, and this reaction is easy to carry. Is a mixed aldehyde. You keep in your mind, it is a very important part of your syllabus. Methanol can easy to combine with ethanol because ethanol having alpha hydrogen. They can easy to condense, but you can't. You can't. This ethanol can combine with methanol because methanol is not directly combined with in your reaction but the reaction happens yes as mentioned here in methanol they can also easy to condense yes they can easy to condense like this the again of the methanol and ethanol are condensation maadu very good because ethanol is alpha hydrogen is there ethanol and methanol condensation maada podre nimge confusion aagutade so because ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಪ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವರಿಗೆ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಲ್ಲ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಬರಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲಿಟ್ಲಿ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಈ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಷ್ಟ ಪಡಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಕಂಡೆನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡೆನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಬರಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಕೀಪ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಐಡಾಲ
is a very important reaction of our chapter. The last year, they asked the question, adult condensation of study. Especially so many times they asked adult condensation. Is, uh, as mentioned, the syllabus in the cross adult also. He practicing cross adult to the conversion of the components. Okay, yes, you know, this is the very important, the last winning reaction of your radiate chapter. And then in the next video, we'll go for the oxidation reaction. Thank you. Thank you for watching.